Years ago, the Payatas dump site reeked of poverty and despair, with residents living off the capital's refuse. Its condition worsened in 2000 when continuous rains caused a garbage slide, killing nearly 300 people. Emil, who has lived here for more than 20 years, recounts the dangers he and his fellow scavengers face daily. Pag ka po umakyat ka rito at naghanap buhay ka ng alayag ka, wala po nga siguradohan sa sarili mo. Minsan may sunog, may mga bagay na matatapakan mo na mainit, malulubog ka. After the disaster, some officials clamored to shut down the dump site. But a year later, Quezon City Mayor Sonny Belmonte took charge in rehabilitating the area. To literally reshape Payatas, the city government partnered with the IPM Environmental Services Incorporated to build all-weather roads and to reduce the steepness of dump site slopes, which were first covered in soil, then compacted. Pagkatapos ng compaction, ang sumunod ay nagtinataniman namin ng mga perennial trees, flowers, ang ano dito. But there is a special grass dito, kung tawagin namin vetiver grass, na yung amoy, yung mga metallic content ng uh, lichet, ay nasisip-sip nitong damo na ito. Yung roots niya, nagbakakaroon ng banding doon sa basura, sa soil, sa crash rock, so it serves as anti-erosion also. With recirculated water coming from households used to maintain the greens, Payatas has now become nature's ally. Methane gas from garbage is converted into electricity, powering street lights and the planchahan ng bayan, wherein residents can iron clothes for free. Other pioneering initiatives include harnessing biogas, plastics, and old tires for alternative fuel, and recycling used cooking oil, plastics, and styrofoam into bricks. Even small-scale recycling is structured with scavengers forming organizations and working in shifts. Trading and recycling areas, as well as junk shops, are neatly set up near the disposal facility. However, waste picking is not a sustainable profession. To ensure the well-being of residents, the government conducts financial training and educational assistance for alternative livelihood. Sa akin po, ano eh, i-develop ko po yung skills ko. Kasi in-encourage naman po na mag-aaral ka kung hindi po sa pag-aalaga ng baboy, uh, pag-arpintero, o kaya eh, Mag-vocation mag po kasi vocational na encoding po, typing ng ano, computer. A decade later, Payatas has visibly changed, but its real change lies in its people, who have reclaimed their pride and identity. Tuloy na pag-asenso, tuloy na pag-asenso, tuloy na pag-asenso,